closet made famous in Clueless. It was the closet of the future. Now everyone can use it with a new technology that lets you try on clothing just by standing in front of a webcam. It's the Face Cake Virtual Try-On System, and it could free you from dressing rooms forever. ABC's Bianca Goldriga has a story. For so many women, the clueless closet was a fantasy come to life, with Alicia Silverstone as Cher and her amazing before its time virtual closet. Well, now, nearly two decades later, life is imitating art. It's called Swivel, the first virtual try-on system that lets you see how clothes and accessories look in real time without hitting the dreaded dressing room. It started out to make shopping easier for women, to remove barriers that exist from when you're shopping for products online or even in store. It's the brainchild of Linda Smith, CEO of Facecake, who got some of her inspiration from none other than the Jetsons. Turn on the dress selector. The future of shopping is here, no. and now you're able to, in real time, interact with products on your own image and really see what they would look like. Let's go hottest trends. And playing around in this virtual closet is nothing short of magical. Different styles, looks, accessories, all without leaving one spot. This kind of brings the mall or your favorite store or your favorite brand's products just all together right in one little space for you. The way it works, any store puts a whole database of clothing and accessories into the system, enabling the customer to try them on using Swivel. But it's not only limited to clothing and accessories, they also do makeup. Uh, let's go with this little gray color. Like what I see, I can make it a bit darker or a bit lighter if I like. I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Blush and bronzer, I need a pink on my cheeks. There we go. And a facial feature recognition system tells where your features are and can apply makeup. A great finishing touch. I'm, I'm digging this red dress. For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York.